Access control systems are an essential part of modern security, protecting businesses and organizations from unauthorized access and intrusion. But what happens when a critical component in the system fails or is tampered with? That's where four-state supervised input comes in. Four-state supervised input is used in access control systems to monitor the status of various components. Generally, a four-state supervised input module will involve two resistors to provide extra electrical resistance to the circuit. It is called four-state because it can detect four different states or conditions, inactive, active, open, and short. By monitoring the status of components using four-state supervised input, Access control systems can detect faults or tampering and provide alerts to security personnel. When the switch and door sensor is closed, the current flows through the switch to resistor 2, bypassing resistor 1 due to electrical resistance. So while the circuit's resistance is 2.2 kilo ohms, system will define the device's state as inactive. When the switch is open, the current can only flow through resistor 1 to resistor 2. Therefore, while the circuit's resistance is 4.4 kilo ohms, system will define the device's state as active. When system is being tempered or one of the component fails, the circuit will be open, the resistance is infinite, and the current does not flow. System will by default sound alarm via Armatura 1 platform to alert users for further inspection. When under a short circuit attack, the attacker will try to hijack the system by bypassing the motion detector and earn direct control on the controller. Then the cable connected to the motion detector will be shorted. Therefore, the circuit's resistance will be zero without resistor 1 and 2. System will by default sound alarm via Armatura 1 platform to alert users for further inspection. Overall, four-state supervised input is an essential feature for any access control system providing an extra layer of security and helping to ensure the proper functioning of the system at all times.